in this video, I just want to just highlight what made me come to the decision of moving all of my integrations from Integramat to Public Connect, give them a shot. Um, one of the one of the deals is, um, you know, it's a, a, a newer company, but I've been seeing a lot of headway come when it comes to this company, uh, Public Connect, and it looks like they have a lot of uh, great value that they're bringing. And you're not having to pay a whole lot um, for the different um, tasks and workflows and to be able to get the same functionality integrating all of your different applications um, into one platform to make them talk to each other. So if you go here to Integromat and I, I love Integromat, you know, it, it worked for me well for over the years. And I came here and I see that I guess they're changing the name and doing some whole, a whole rebranding thing. And that happens a lot. And, you know, they're saying that everything is going to stay the same, but we, we don't know, you know, of course, um, it's just one of those things that, um, uh, with the new rebranding, re you know, you may come up with different packages, you know, depending on, you know, the, just everything with the rebrand, whether they're going to actually grandfather in your current subscription and, Mine was um, um pretty standard, you know. I paid, uh, I think it was um currently twenty nine dollars a month, and it's, it's been going well. I have no problems with Integromat, none whatsoever. But again, I am what what <clears throat> also prompted me to consider making that move was they have this lifetime deal that's really good that you can get instead of you paying the monthly and you know me i love lifetime deals uh, i love the one-time payment and getting all these different features and um everything for one one cost so basically they have a deal for 149 for their first tier um then you have one for 298 for the second tier and this is the tier that i'm going to go with the reason why is um, some of the limitations on the different tiers are the amount of workflows. And I know me, I'm going to try to integrate a lot of different things and I need uh, multiple workflows and I don't want to be limited by the amount of workflows that I can create. And, you know, although you get uh, 10,000 monthly tasks, which should, which should actually suffice for most businesses to be able to function correctly, lead generation operations, um, just getting data from one place to the other. But also, it <clears throat> allows other uh, functionality like email parser, which I actually look forward to actually doing, and also uh, different uh, path routers. So these don't come with a different, uh, like delay in if you want to delay a certain task before moving on, uh, the scheduling, and also the email parser. So those were some um, features that I didn't want to go without. So uh, this is the package that I am going to go through and actually sign up for. Um, I, don't, I just wanted to show, shoot this video really quickly just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, why I was thinking about or not thinking about going to move to Pabli uh, instead of uh, Integromat. And <clears throat> right down here, it gives a breakdown between what you would pay, which is 447 for a one-time payment versus uh, a Zapier or a Zapier um, paying at least $1,548 a year for many of the same features and if you notice you know not only from the reviews <clears throat> but they integrate with just about everything um so you have just about every kind of application that's out there you can integrate you know click funnels active campaign uh, my marketing software is vbout so they actually integrate with that my live uh, chat is uh gvo chat I, they integrate with that so you can actually see all of the different integrations that they provide for the platform um, to be able to integrate all of your systems uh, and make them work with each other, even Botstar. So I actually use Botstar as well. I know they're moving on to what's called Chative, and I look forward to that uh, transition uh, with them. But, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, again, this isn't the Bash Integromat. Integromat has worked fine for me. It may work fine for you. It's not saying that you need to move over to Pabli, but it just giving you some um, another option 
to consider when dealing with integration with different systems and applications that you may want to look out and, and, and uh, take advantage of yourself. So again, if you have any questions, you know, put them in the comments or if you have any uh, feedback on your experience with Pavly versus Integromat, I look forward to that. And also Zapier or Zapier, whatever you want to call it. And just let me know.